Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're talking about a pretty good matchup in the second fight so far in the lineup of the uh, Cannoneer Amaval fight card in Kentucky, 14 fights. This is scheduled to be the second matchup on this card. I think that's a little nuts to be honest. Daniel Marcos 15-0, 4-0-0-1 in his last five fights. Got a no contest in his last one against Arichi Lang where he was lighting him up. Uh, 31 years old, 5'7", with a 69-inch reach, fighting uh, sexy Mexi John Castaneda, who's 21-6, and 4-1 and in his last five fights, 32 years old, 5'6", with a 71-inch reach, 2-inch reach advantage for John Castaneda. I was not huge on Daniel Marcos. I think he had a good uh, debut against Brandon, uh, against uh, uh, Samian Oliveira, who hasn't looked great in the UFC, unfortunately, but I thought he absolutely not even closely lost against Davy Grant, who was a veteran, older veteran, um, durable as anything, and I thought he clearly lost. Comes back and he fights Arichi Lang and looks incredible, and then it becomes a no contest. It sucks because you only have so many good or great performances, and I think that could have been a great performance, especially at 31 years old. I don't know how many great performances he has at 31 years old left. John Castaneda's 21, 21 wins, 6 losses. Like I said, 4-1 in his last 5 fights. That one loss is against Daniel Santos with a knee. I constantly think that it's uh, Elvis Brenner. Constantly think it's Elvis Brenner. And Daniel Santos is a very, very good. You know, beating John Castaneda by, with the knee, beating Johnny Munoz by decision in 2023, losing to Julio Arce, which, fine, sure, but it was a big comeback from behind, come from behind victory for Daniel Santos, who John Castaneda looked really good up until that, you know, he started getting tired. Um, it did come back pretty well against Mu, uh, Muin Garaf, uh, Gafarov, Gafarov, and then beat uh, Hung, Hung Ho Kang. And just hung, uh, Kang looked like he couldn't pull the trigger in that matchup, which I typically don't pick him because I don't think he's great. And then he ends up winning the matchup. So I took a chance, picked Kang in that one because of his reach. He's a veteran. He's a pretty good striker, durable as anything. And I thought the reach and all those things would help him win that fight. It didn't. John Castaneda looked really good in that matchup. Has gotten a little bit more tired than we had typically seen him in those previous couple fights up until that Daniel Santos finish. And then his last two, he's gotten a little bit more tired than typical. So I don't know if that's an age thing because he's 32 years old. I'm not really for sure. Did miss weight in his last one by a pound, 1.6 pounds. That's an issue. Um, I don't think it was a uh, um, uh, uh, scheduled to catch weight or anything like that. I don't think so. I'm pretty sure it wasn't. But either way, I like Daniel Marcos. Uh, I am a little concerned with Castaneda's grappling with his pace. That could be a bit of an issue. But I think the combinations and the speed of Daniel Marcos causes more problems. And even if he gets taken down, I think he is pretty good at getting back up. We've seen that before. I like Daniel Marcos. I think he gets the job done. And uh, John Castaneda could be in trouble. Also, John Castaneda beat a fighter that I had trained with years and years ago, Eddie Wineland. Wild experience. I'll go on a little tangent here. So I went to Keith Wazinski's gym one time after I had my amateur I had an amateur fight and uh, go to the gym. I get in there. Uh, I had a hard time finding the place to be honest. I was a, I was a little bit late, which sucked because I had never been there before. But Keith and Eddie are, are training or they're talking. I mean, and then a bunch of other people are training. I roll with uh, Eddie Wineland, which I was already starstruck as it was. He is very, very strong, very powerful, no matter what he's doing. Um, it didn't end very well. I, I would like to say that if I wasn't so starstruck or uh, nervous, I would do better. Possibly. Maybe I would. Uh, I have confidence in that area. But Eddie Wineland's a monster, especially back in those days. And this was probably... 2015 i would say but as always guys thank you peace